One Piece manga chapter 833. The title of the chapter is Vin Smoke Judge. This chapter consists of three different main parts. Three big different segments, if you will. Okay, so first of all, it's the Sanji and Judge fight. The second is the flashback. And the third is the very end. The Sanji and Judge fight is amazing. It is very well written. I enjoyed it a lot. The choreography is amazing. Uh, Sanji's dad is a cheater. He does use weapons a lot and technology a lot in combat. So we can't really gauge his power too much. He does know hockey because he does compliment Sanji and say that he didn't think a brat like Sanji would be capable of using hockey. So he obviously is underestimating Sanji throughout the fight. Uh, I love that electric shock attack. I forgot. It was like the electro attack. I love that. I love that. I love the thing where he does his wall and all the people get in front of him. He takes the spear. He runs it through them trying to stab Sanji. I love that. The whole fight was amazing. How, However, in the end, he does end up taking Sanji out. Now, why don't we move on to the flashback and my thoughts on that. So, in the flashback, we see the three boys, Yo Yonji, Ichiji, and Niji, teaming up on Sanji. Appen apparently, the four of them are quadruplets. Yeah, not triplets, not twins, but quadruplets, and they were all born on the same day. So, I would assume that when the mother was giving birth, it went something like, the first one popped out, and he was like, Ichiji. Second with Niji, third with Sanji, and fourth with Yoji. That would be the assumption I would make, but I could be wrong. But the, his, his brothers are picking on him, like beating him up because he was making food for the commoners. He was cooking for them. And they were talking about how, how he is royalty and how he didn't make his hand dirty by cooking food for the commoner filth. It actually sounded, the way they talked made them sound a lot like the Ten Rubito. Not as, like, high tier, like, they still don't mind breathing the same air as the humans, but they definitely do think they're superior to the commoners. And Sanji just doesn't really, he tries to hit one of them, he gets his ass kicked, clearly weak. Then Jug comes in, and this is where we get the big shocker about how bad of a father this asshole is. Okay, so Jug comes in. And he looks at Sanji, and Sanji's like, help me. And he's like, why the hell would I do that? You're useless as a warrior, and you're weak, and you're just, and you're a J, and you're like, a, you're a stain. He is a stain on our family name. Like, nobody cares. Riju, a f who is becoming like a fan favorite. Like, a lot of people really like Riju right now. I think she's actually kind of squeaked. Was laughing at Sanji with torture, with being insulted. And you're know, insulted. Then we skip. Now, I, before I talk about the next set of events, like the ending, I do want to mention that Sanji's mom was not showing him a flashback at all. Now, she had four children at once. Childbirth isn't easy. I know, I, I know, I got, you know, childbirth is something that is a very, like, dangerous process. Like, women do die when they give birth, and sometimes they die when giving birth to just one kid. So it is very possible she could, she maybe she just couldn't handle giving birth to four kids. And she died, you know, during childbirth. But let's be honest, the chances of that are very low. There's probably a lot of a darker secret to it. I have a video I plan on making about the pot, about some things that could have to do with Sanji's dad and maybe her supposed death or her supposed uh, maybe having to leave. I'm not really sure, but I do definitely think it has something to do with Sanji's dad. Judge. But now what I want to talk about is the next thing with Riju. So, Riju is, uh, help bandaging Sanji off. And see, Riju being really nice to Sanji, you know, she could just be trying to butter him up, but she seems like she legitimately is a caring older sister, but then again, you never know. But she's being really nice. She's even complimenting him, like, I never would have thought you would be such a beast. I never thought you would be so powerful, Sanji. She's complimenting him. I really like this scene. And then, this is the part where we see Judge come into it. Judge comes in, and they start arguing. Like, he, Sanji references uh, once again, well, he went to it like three times in the chapter, but, but in the last chapter, the chapter before that, in the official translation, he had said, I have a father and it's not you. He says it again, like, you, the three of us are not family. I have a dad and he's not you. The person here, of course, referring to is Zeth, 
your red leg is F from uh, the burp bar RTA. Good, yeah, it's definitely from death from the bar RTA. That is kind of obvious. But no, what really gets gets me in this scene is so while Stein is arguing with his father, his father's like, you know, you were always a waste of time. I'm just using you because his father's goal is to conquer the North Blue. And he can do it. The Vince Smoke can do it, but Big Mom provides support, and the support is very useful. So they want to marry Sanji off the pudding to form a permanent alliance. Now, here's where the problem plays in. Okay, so Judge is in the situation where he doesn't want to marry off one of his precious uh, sons to a Big Mom's daughter. Because he said he referred to her as mentally deranged. And I agree with that. The best term I can describe, use to describe Big Mama is she's a crazy bitch. She really is. She's batshit crazy. She's insane. She really is insane. She's nuts. So, I mean, I can understand not wanting to marry off one of your sons to them. And he pretty much said he doesn't consider Sanji a son. son. Sanji is just a product of him having sex with a woman. He doesn't, like, family-wise, he could care less. Like, Sanji's a product of him, of him and some woman having sex. But he doesn't care about Sanji. He doesn't care about Sanji at all. So he's like, he's gonna marry Sanji off. Sanji's arguing with him, also telling him, We learned that Sanji was taught how to use a sword during his fight with Judd. And he learned, you know, he speaks how his hands are only for cooking. That comes up again later. They're really just they're arguing and arguing. And while they're arguing, Riju gets the gloves on Sanji. They're the same type of uh, technology that the Celestial Dragon used in their slave collars. Remember the collars on Sabote that if you ran too far away, they would blow up and kill the slave? So you either had to obey your master or die? So it's the same concept, but this time they're gloves and they're stuck on because they're like bracelets, I think. Not gloves, they're like bracelets. And she like put them on his wrist, so if he... And she, he had earlier previously, of course, talked about how important his hands were to him because he's a cook. So now it's time he tries to run away, his hands are gonna blow up. And apparently, only one person had the key to these, uh, wrist bracelet things. I don't really know what to call them, but the key is in the possession of Yoko Big Mom. So this will, of course, probably tie into Luffy's battle. Because before, it was really like Luffy had no reason to battle Big Mom. Now he does. If Sanji, needs, if Sanji wants to get away, Luffy needs to, to get the key from Big Mom. So, yeah, what were my thoughts on this week's chapter? I thought it was really damn good. I would give it nine. You know, I give it ten out. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten because I'm a little disappointed we didn't see what Luffy and the others were up to. But the stuff we got with the Vin Smokes and Sanji was amazing. I like seeing more of a family dynamic. I'm also I'm very interested. Out of all the Vin Smokes, the two most interesting ones besides Sanji. Or Riju and Judge, in my opinion. I don't find Ichiji and Niji very interesting. Because they seem like they're probably just going to be the generic bully older brothers. Riju, however, she, she seems like she... I can't really tell who side she's on. I can't tell if she actually cares about Sanji or if she's just using him. I really don't know. So that's what makes me like this. I love the family dynamic of the Vince most and seeing all these people play off of each other. I was a little bit disappointed though that during his fight with Judge, when Judge talked about door training, that Sanji didn't say something along the lines of like, I'll, like ever since I met that shitty swordman, I swore I would never wield the sword. There was, a, there was an obvious, easy joke for about Zoro there. But there was no joke about him, like, you know, the fact that him and Zoro are fighting all the time. There was no joke there, so that was a little disappointing. But, yeah, I cannot wait for next week's chapter. By the way, uh, One Piece Film Gold is releasing in theaters in Japan this weekend, so there will be no One Piece episode on Sunday. So while I don't talk about the anime, I know some of my viewers do watch it. If you do watch it, well, there, there is no episode this weekend, so don't even bother looking. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed my review of One Piece Chapter 833. Uh, I look forward to making some videos and some of the content in this chapter. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos. I review the One Piece chapters every week. I also react to them. My reactions should be on my channel already by the time this goes up. But above all else, guys... Have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Peace.